All right, so let's take a look at this vector application from from Trig. Uh, I'll have several of these worked. Uh, they'll each have their own video, so check out, check them out, and they'll they'll all be different. Okay, so if a force of 86 pounds is required to push a safe up a ramp that is inclined 10 degrees, then what is the weight of the safe? All right, so the the main thing here draw a picture of it okay so let's go ahead and draw the ramp and it's inclined at 10 degrees okay and I know this drawings over exaggerated uh, I just did that it makes it easier to label everything so I would recommend drawing it you know a little bigger than what it you know draw that angle more than 10 degrees all right, so we're wanting to find the weight of the safe. So we've got a safe sitting here on the ramp, okay? And it says a force of 86 pounds is required to push it up the ramp. So that would be this force here going up the ramp, okay? Now, they want to know the weight of the safe. Well, the weight of the safe is this vector here coming straight down. And then also we have another force on the ramp that's made by the safe, okay? And that force, that force, the, the force of the safe on the ramp is that force perpendicular to the ramp. So, so that would be this vector here, okay? And then we, we can bring this, uh, this vector here, that's the the force that's required to push it up the ramp. Well, that's that's also here. That's that. I mean, we can just project it down here, and and we know that this force is 86 pounds. That's what's required, and we know this is perpendicular. So we know this is perpendicular because this vector and this vector are parallel and this line going through it it's perpendicular to both vectors all right now what are we looking for we're looking for the weight of the safe well that would be this vector here so we're going to look for the magnitude of this vector okay the the force that's the force of that vector now We've got to label some other stuff, okay? Well, I know that this angle is 80 degrees, and how do I know that? Well, this vector's coming straight down, so we know that's a 90 degree angle. That's perpendicular. And we know all the angles of a triangle add up to 180, so if this is 90 and this is 10, this has to be 80. Okay, because 10 and 90 is 100 plus the 80. And then we know, see how this line here is perpendicular to the ramp? Well, if that's 80, well, this total angle here is 90. So we know that is 10 degrees. All right. So look what we've got. We've got a right triangle. We know this angle. We know the side opposite, and we're looking for the hypotenuse. All right. Well, what do we know about opposite hypotenuse? That's the sine. So we know the sine of 10 degrees is equal to opposite, which is 86, over the hypotenuse. And that's going to be, that's the magnitude of V. And so now all we do is solve. So look at this. If we bring this, this goes across the equal sign up here. This one moves across the equal sign. It goes to the denominator. And so we've got V is 86 over sine of, over the sine of 10 degrees and punch that into your calculator 
you are going to get, let's see, 86 divided by sine of 10. That is 495, 495 point, and we'll round it to one decimal place. So that's 495.3, and this is in pounds. Okay, so you can see that, I mean, it's really easy to do once you draw the picture. Check out the other videos. I'll have some more where we find like the force required to push it up and the force on the ramp. And even, we might even have to find the angle of elevation, the, the incline of the ramp too. Okay, all right, so hope this helped. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.